Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So I've had a lot of requests on this certain character. I don't watch this show. I did try to watch it and I just wasn't uh, cap as captivated as I should have been and I just didn't watch past the first episode. But we are going to draw Star from Star vs. the Forces of Evil. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and draw the entirety of her face. So we're actually going to draw the top of her face, which kind of just looks like a round hill. And then I'm going to bring out the side just a little bit, bring it around, and then back going towards this part of her face. And then I'm going to make an ear. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with the one eye over here and it's kind of going to go off the side of her face. So it's kind of like popping out just a little bit. And then round it back in. And then I'm going to jump over here with another rounded eye. And they're both the same size and they do pretty much take up the entirety of her face. Bring this one in just a little bit. After that, I'd like to go up and put her pupil iris area up here. Jump over here again and make a pupil iris area off to the side. Like right in the middle right here and give her her nose. It's just like, uh, it almost looks like a jack-o'-lantern nose. It's just the top of a triangle. And then we're going to make her smile. So we're going to start over here with this part. It's going to go all the way over here. So we're going to connect both sides. So we're going to go in, down, and connect to right there. And then I'm going to go down, make this a little bit wider, bring this over, and then connect. Give her some teeth, so we got one tooth here, one tooth here, one tooth here, and then one tooth off to the side, so we got all these teeth. Then I'm going to jump back up into her eyes and give her pupil, and another pupil. Go ahead and darken all around her eye. We have some eyelashes going off to the side right here. We've got about four, and then we have four over here. And we have a little bit of her ear showing off to the side. And then most importantly, we have hearts on her cheeks. So here's one heart right here on the side of her cheek. And then we're gonna jump over here, and we have another heart. I'm going to go ahead and define her face just a little bit more by bringing this a more of a solid line. Bringing it up and making sure we got that good solid line and I can get rid of that first original guideline. I'm actually going to get rid of her forehead guideline as well. What I would like to do is jump off to the side right here. So we got her bangs, some are going to go in this direction and then some are going to swoop down over her eye, jump up, curl this way and then we have another one curling on top and it's just going to go right back into here. And then this part of her bangs is just going to go out this way go a little bit over her eyelashes and just go right back in and then we have another part of her hair that's going off to the side of her ear her headband which is going to start from behind her bangs right here so I'm going to go ahead and bring around her headband bring that down I just li lightly drew through her bangs and then Go ahead and go on the other side of the headband where we stopped over here. I'm going to jump up this way. And can 
connect the headband on each side and she has horns on her headband so I'm going to go ahead and jump up here curve one in this way jump over here and curve this one in now I'm going to jump on top of this part of her headband and just bring it off to the side bring this down and then we start to have like the overall her whole hair takes up her entire body practically so we're gonna just we just start it off to the side and it's actually gonna flow down here as well but we forgot to give star her eyebrows so I'm gonna go ahead and put one eyebrow right here and one eyebrow right here and I'm actually gonna get rid of this original mark that we made for her also want to jump inside of her ear and I'm gonna go I'm gonna start for the top like the cartilage part I'm gonna go down and then we're gonna make that the lobe part of her ear and that's all her ear is right underneath her face so I'm a little bit above about here okay so I'm gonna go down here bring down this side and then bring down this side and I'm gonna jump off to this to the side of her neck right here round that off then we can go ahead and give her that what is it called penny collar I don't know what it's called <laughs> but it's just like the color of her dress and it's gonna go out to the side like a flower flower petal and then go right back up and we have another flower petal bringing out her shoulder one shoulder is to the side and one shoulder is going to be dropping downwards so let's start with this shoulder over here we're gonna bring out the sleeve to her dress and we're gonna bring down this up the top of her dress bring up the middle part and we're gonna go back up so we went down the side define the middle part of her dress go up and then we have this sleeve that goes outwards and then connects up to the top and then this part where we started to draw just a little bit out to the side is her arm it's gonna curve downwards we go back up make more of an elbow to her arm make her upper arm and then we're gonna to start to curve her hand and her hand is very very simple and it's just basically up this way and we have one finger two finger and three finger that's all it is and it's just curved upwards just like that so it's another four fingered character all it is and we're gonna jump off to the side right here and give her her hip to her dress and so her arm her hand and I always draw through stuff just to kind of line it up so it's going to go ahead and it's actually gonna be her hip that her hand is resting on so we're gonna curve this down and I'm gonna go back up to the side of her hip bring this all the way over here kind of in the middle I'm gonna go ahead and bring down one leg she's got a pointy knee bring this down and then we have the other leg that's just tucked to the side right here bring this part down and underneath her skirt I'm actually gonna go ahead and give it like the little tool that's along the side so it's like a trim let's go ahead and do her other arm over here and her arms kind of sticking outward so we got one part of her arm here and then one part right here bring this down bring this part inwards and then this one is gonna go outwards and we come to her we're gonna go to her wrist so we have a little part right here and then this part and we're gonna start with her thumb so it's gonna go outwards from her wrist Curve this inward and then bring it in. And we got one finger here and another finger here and another finger here. So 
we're going to go ahead and draw the bottom of this. And I'm going to just draw it through her hand so it just lines up. It's going to curve upwards and then bring this down. Got one section here and one section at the bottom. And then we have the round part up here. So we have the round part up here. And I'm just going to chop this off to the side. So it kind of almost looks like a eight ball. And we're gonna draw a star in the middle. Not in the middle, it's just going to, we're gonna do a basic star. So you start with like an arrow head. And then bring this off to the side, bring it down, and then right here. And you can go ahead, jump in, and get rid of those lines, and then you have your star. Then you're gonna jump on top, give it a little bit of a crown. And then we have wings on this side, so it's just, it's pretty easy wings, so we're going to go out this way, out this way, and out this way, and back in. So it's three sections, same over here, one, two, and then three. And you have a little itty bitty X mark at the top. Let's jump back to her legs. So we're not gonna do the entirety of her boots because we're running out of room at the bottom of the page. <laughs> but it's pretty simple. So we're just gonna go ahead and line the top of her one boot right here. And it's actually one boot is gonna go up this way. The top of her boot right here and then top, top of her boot right here. So this one's gonna go downwards and this one's gonna go down. All the way to the bottom of the paper and then this one will go down and then we have the other side that's off the side right here so it's kind of like she's leaning in and she's like doing a little bit of a pose so her stockings are actually striped so we have one stripe here we have another stripe here and another stripe here and it's actually dark pink and peach her outfit is pretty crazy so we have a they're almost lined up, almost. So we got the dark stripe here. Dark, so we have a little bit of the dark stripe under here. Draw another star, and this one looks a little bit more like a starfish instead of a pointy star over here. So bring off, so we we'll start with the top. Bring out this side. Bring out this point, round it off. And then we're gonna bring off this part, round it off and then round off of here and I'm going to get rid of that guideline and I'm going to jump on top and make this look a little bit more three-dimensional so it looks like a block of cheese <laughs> so I'm going to jump down here bring out this point bring out this point and then bring down this point and we're just going to line to each of those lines we just made to give it a little bit more dimension I forgot one point here, so this one should have a point. Make sure it's nice and rounded. And then this point. And then down underneath the star, we're going to go ahead and give that a little dimension too. And I'll lightly sh shade this in so you guys can see that it is a little bit more dimensional. And we're going to go ahead and give the star one eye here, and then one eye here. And a little itty bitty smile and just little two dots for pupils and then we're gonna draw a strap from up going up and onto her shoulder and we don't even see the other strap on the other side I'm gonna make this a little bit thicker and then on her dress we have this little ghostly ghoul looking guy so I'm gonna start with the top of this little ghosty and then I'm bottom of his ghostly little hands, whatever they are. I don't know how the anatomy of a ghost. 
and he's got a little eye, a little eye, and just a straight mouth. Last but not least, we have to finish her hair, and her hair does pretty much take up the entirety of her body, so we're gonna jump back up to here, and we're gonna bring down this side of her hair, which is gonna go down, all the way down, outwards, so it's going down like this, so we go to right here, and I'm actually going to lightly draw through. Make one little part of section of hair. Bring this in. So it's kind of looking like, I don't know, just kind of like grass almost. We have another part of the section of her hair. Bring this one in. Another part of section. And I'm going to draw through till I have this part over here. And then I'm going to jump up and bring up this. I'm just going to start to go upwards. Go up. Bring us in. I'm going to jump back up to here to her hair. Bring this down. Draw through her. And go back down to the bottom. connected. So we have all this huge part of her golden hair. Her, the sleeves to her dress actually have like a little trim and I'm just going to go ahead and lightly draw the trim on her sleeves. And there we are. There we go. There is how you draw Star from Star versus the Forces of Evil. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you all later. 